Alright guys, we're back after a fucking 10 day break. Actually, it's been almost almost two weeks. Cause your boy got your your boy got coronavirus, bruh. It was fucking terrible. So bad. But I feel great now, finally. I feel great. I'm ready to fucking go. We're gonna go up here, take a look. Came by this morning, had seven guys here trying to lift the fire pit coffee table down off of the casting table. Literally, we couldn't even budge it. We might have lifted it an inch. It weighs over 1,100 pounds, I'd say. I ended up going to Northern Tool and buying gantry crane. Now we gotta set it up. I'm gonna go take a look. We gotta set it up, get the coffee table off of the casting table, disassemble the crane and take it to my shop. So big pain in the ass, but really it was the only solution that I could think of to get this done effectively and carefully. So we're gonna go up here, take a look, look. Got Chad back with me. Somehow he did not catch coronavirus. <laughs> I'm immune. He's immune to it, so I'm immune now, but boy, that shit was fucking terrible. So we're gonna go up here, take a little look. plan of action is to move all this Portland and all this sand over there and then we're going to template out the couch onto the concrete so that we know exactly where this coffee table is going. So it's going to be right here in this area so we'll template out where the couch is that way we only have to move this coffee table one time. Planters look great. They're getting the tile going in here. Looks like they got the Schluter system with uh, heated floors. Kitty, kitty, look at him. Oh my God, he's cute. Kitty, kitty. Look at him, he's gonna check, he's gonna use his cat door. So they got is that, their... Is that really a cat door though? Like for yeah, real? yeah, 100%. Hey, I love this guy, bro. <laughs> 100%, so we, this is how far we moved it. This is how far we moved the, the, the right here, this much. Seven guys. Seven guys. And y'all can only move it that far. That was as far as we could move it, bro. Christ. So, the gantry crane is hopefully the solution. God, if it's not the solution, bro, we're gonna it's the a solution. real fucking crane. No, 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 it's the solution. It's the solution. It'll lift it. So it's made more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's strong, so. We're gonna, we're gonna have to move all this stuff here and then get set up, set the gantry crane up, put it over here, and wheel it, get this thing off here. So, here we go. Luckily, it's not too, too hot, but it ain't too, too cold either. <laughs> Some facts. What's up guys, uh, here at Dr. Duel's project. I'm about to, um, my buddy Chad, he's got to uh, help his buddy move. So I'm gonna be doing some stuff 
today that uh, well he'll be here he'll be here this afternoon but I will be doing some stuff here that uh, I don't necessarily need him for so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grout uh, aka slurry the planters um, and you'll see what I mean you see what I mean when I say I'm embracing the all the character that's in these planters so what I'm gonna do is basically go through go through here and I'm gonna make this real fine paste this black pigmented paste that I'm gonna put in all of these voids every bit of all of this stuff will be filled in flush with black to really contrast the gray and give this this thing a whole lot of character so I'm gonna do that to do that it's basically just Portland polymer and pigment is all it is there's a lot of commercial products out there like Buddy Rhodes no offense at all uh, but he sells a bone paste and there's a couple other products that I'm sure are good but you don't necessarily need that uh, really you just need Portland polymer and pigment so I'm gonna do that get some footage of myself doing that and we're gonna make these things pop so stay tuned guys here we go guys so it's been slurried all four sides and now now the next step uh, you want to let this dry overnight and then I'm gonna come back with like a five to one maybe a little less strong than that ten to one muriatic acid wash I'll acid wash it and then I'll sand it like 220 grit 
You don't want to go any lower than 220 because you'll start exposing aggregate. I want to keep the off the form finish. Now there is some bigger divots here that are going to require a little bit more slurry, which that's fine. I'll probably add that here in a little bit. You don't want to put too big of a hunk in the divots in the uh, in the holes because it'll crack. So you want to just take your time and slowly slowly fill those in with multiple coats. Okay. So I'm gonna walk down here and show you the back side. That is a rainstorm right there. You can see it pour in there. Y'all, I'm so lit right now. I'm so happy and healthy. We just cooked up some burgers, boy. The neighbor gave me a fresh tomato. The mac and cheese, about to watch Queen of the South. We got the gantry crane set up today. Let's go! Got the house clean. Look at all the empty space. Oh, yeah. It's not that clean, but it's cleaner. Oh, we got to watch this. Not hard to get to. Alright guys, this is the outro. Maybe. Might get more footage later. But I'm I'm just so lit. I'm just so happy. I feel so good. I don't have coronavirus anymore, but she's still pregnant, so she feels nauseous. Alright y'all.